All right, now following their 20 run victory against Bangladesh in the first T20 last night, the Proteas will look to seal off another whitewash win when the second final T20 takes place this Sunday. While over in local rugby, a new Curry Cup champion will be crowned tomorrow as the Sharks and Western Province do battle for the, cu uh, for the Cup in Durban, the coastal uh, final, as they're calling it all right. Now, so give a, to give us a rundown of this epic weekend of sports, we have our sports reporter, Ashraf Mohammed. Thank you so much for joining us. A tantalizing weekend yeah. of sport. Let's start off first with Curry Cup. Uh, what are we looking at, the, the matchup between the Sharks and the Western Province? Yeah, most people think the, the Sharks are favourites for the title because they, they won 10 games in a row during the league phase. Yes. But the last team to beat them was Western Province in Durban two weeks ago. Mm. Even though, mm. you know, you could argue the Sharks didn't have much to play for on the day because they'd already been top of the log and qualified for the semi-finals. But the way Province played that day showed that they can do it tomorrow as well. Yeah. You know, it's a Province pack of forwards that's a key in this battle. Mm -hmm. The Dupria twins are up against the old boot, the Robert Dupria from Western Province, uh -huh. the Jean-Luc Dupria and Dan Dupria, uh -huh. and their dad, Robert Dupria, <laughs> who's the Sharks coach. So it's the old Dupria thing it's a going on. Affair. Yeah, yeah. So um, they would want to prove a point this time to the old boot, Robert, uh, the Western Province fly off. Yeah. But I think Province, if their pack can secure enough ball, they've got the back line to hurt. The, the Sharks. All right, well, we'll bring you those results come Monday, of yeah. course, with a new champion crowned. Protea is looking to do, uh, the, the, I guess, the damage and put yeah. that final nail in the coffin against Bangladesh. And I'm so surprised, man. Quinton de Kock yeah. is just like superstar batsman. Yeah. But let's talk about the uh, performance uh, pass and what's, what we're looking forward yeah. to in Porto's Throne. Just last night, the Quinton de Kock again, 59, you know, off, uh, basically run the ball. A.B. de Villiza was the star of the show. He's 49 of... 27 balls. He played some amazing shots again. You know, they call him ABD 360 because he scored all around the wicket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ABD 360. Check it out. Hashtag. Oh, my word. And, there um, it is. Yeah, so, so AB was man of the match, but Quinta de Kock, again, great start. Yeah. Uh, Bangladesh didn't do too badly with the bat, I must say. They had a good start, but then uh, Andele Pechrequayo again with the ball. <laughs> delivering two wickets, and Dane Patterson also was on a hat trick at one stage. Oh so my goodness. Good overall performance. Excellent stuff. So yeah. certainly looking forward to that uh, matchup coming in Porto Sturm, 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Yes. And other matchups we can look forward to over the weekend, of course, the Mexico Grand Prix, yes. Lewis Hamilton, in top it to five, win it. Top hopefully. five, he can get the title. Yeah, so not yeah. even dependent yeah. on a finish by battle, wherever yeah. he finishes. Top five or, uh, can, will get him the championship. And then, of course, English Premier League, yeah. United, Tottenham. Spurs. What, what, you going Spurs? No, no, no. I'm United man. But oh. I'm saying Spurs have been playing great football, <laughs> you know. But United's got a lot to answer for after the Huddersfield defeat. Yeah. Mourinho gave them the Alex Ferguson head eye treatment. So watch out for United Spurs. What's, what is your prediction, score prediction? 2-1 United. 2-1 United. I was about to switch it around. Should we have a little friendly wager on that? Yeah, when you come should, back on Monday, should. if I win, you make me coffee. Okay, <laughs> we'll do. The other way around as well. Have a great weekend and enjoy the sporting weekend. Our sports fans will bring you all the results on Monday.